Hi, I'm Carol Nikesh, faculty at the Milwaukee Area Technical College Dental Hygiene Program. This video will demonstrate bisecting angle techniques. When doing bisecting angle using the snap array, we're going to set the angles according to where we are in the mouth. So on the maxillary, we're going to set it for a minus 20 to 25. I mean, excuse me, positive 20 to 25. When we get to the premolar, it would be a plus 30, and then 45 for the canine, and 40 or 45 for the, for the centrals. On the mandibular arch, we're going to have our patient raise his chin up, and we're going to go from a minus 10 to a minus, and minus 15 to 20, and we're going to stay at that all the way across the whole arch on the, back, on the mandibular arch. Okay, when we're using the snap array, we're going to put the dot into the scissor-like, have it even with the bottom of the holder. And we're always going to have the patient bite on the widest side of the bite box for stability and then lock it in. I've already set my plus 20 to 25 for the molar view. And again, the, the patient will, we're going to use the tragus out of the line to keep the anteriors straight. We're going to go in, we're going to have the front of the film at the mesial of the second premolar, have the chin, tragus all aligned parallel to the floor. And now when I raise this up, obviously our film is on the upper arch, so we're going to have our tragus all aligned, even with what I, what I have here is the red line. And then to be sure we don't cone cut, we're going to go down the side of the PID to line it up with the front of the holder, and then we will have... Um, equal distribution only on the upper arch where the film is located. Okay, we're going to the premolar view, so I've already set it for a positive or plus 30 angulation. The film dot in the slot as we did before, and then we're going to have the film pulled up as far forward as we can to get the distal of the canine on this one, and again line it up with the red line on the tragus all the line of the patient. Check the front of the PID to line up with the holder so you don't cone cut, and that would be the premolar view. We set our angle at 45 because we're going to do the canine view, and we're going to put the dot in the anterior part of the rim holder, and we're going to place it behind, behind the canine, pull it tight up against the palate, and then you want to make sure that you have this little space here because now you're creating the border of your film. Have the patient pull it down towards their chin, Tragus all line is parallel to the floor. And there are two ways to do this. For this one, in order to open up that contact, we're going to line everything up with the bottom of the holder. And then we're going to come off to the side and be parallel to the distal of the, uh, the canine. And then make sure that we are at the end of the holder. And this way we will foreshorten this film, but we will always be sure that we have the distal of the canine opened up and then just by going around the bottom of the film you know that you're not going to cone cut. For the central view we have again put our film dot in the holder. We're going to place it in the mouth right against the palate making our own border of the one one-eighth to quarter inch border. Have the patient bite down. Hold it with their finger against against the palate and then we're going to just line this up again using our tongue blade line it up with the bottom of the holder, compare and then check the bottom to be sure that it is, it is all covered, then you won't cone cut. Okay, we're going to go to the mandibular now. Our patient has raised up his chin. We have now a negative angle, a minus 10 degrees. And again, we want to see the distal root of the last erupted molar. In this case, it, it has a third molar. So the front of our film will be at the mesial of the six-year molar. And then in order to line it up, just line up the PID with the border of the mandible. Come between the two red lines and that will mean that your film is covered with the PID and you will not cone cut. All right, now we're going to go to the premolar view and again we put our dot in the, in the bite block towards the incisal edge, lock it in there. Then we're going to go across the arch for the premolar view, the opposite lateral canine. Then as we close, we're going to bring his, your hand towards the PID, and then line up, aim between the first and second premolar, check the front of the film with the holder, 
border of the mandible, and then you will not cone cut. Okay, for the canine view, then, we're going to set our, we can leave our angulation at the 15 to 20, and then we're going to place it against the tooth. Again, you create the border by leaving that little space above the teeth, and you'll hold it up like so. And what we're going to do down here to get the full film is we're going to just stick the border of the mandible, just the chin, right into the PID, and then you and aim at the canine, and then you just check to be sure that the PID is covering the film, and check down here that the, the bottom of the PID is right underneath or right behind the chin, and then you will not comb cut. For the centrals, again, we have the film placed the same way. The page should pull the film nice and tight against the film, against the film against the teeth, and then have the patient hold it towards their nose. Cup the chin a little bit so the PID just comes right behind the border of the, of the chin, the mandible, and check the top of the teeth, so the, or the top of the film, so that it's covered by the PID and you will not comb cut.